Welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are launching two missions next month, the Martian, Martian Biological Experiments and the Saturn Flyby, and our Granat is also complete. So that is just great. And Granat is, of course, the Space Telescope, which we will be the first to launch. Contractor effects increased by 100%. Okay. And then we have the Saturn flyby that is ready for launch with not that great reliability, to be honest. And then we have the Martian biological experiments, which is lucrative and decent reliability. Let's see. Uh, the weather is looking good. Adequate conditions, 4% risk of going boom. We have advanced shock absorption. Let's see how it goes. All right, we're clear of the tower. We are going up. We are going up. We are not blowing up. Yep, all good, guys. All good. And we get a secure launch. Very nice. And. Atlas and Agena are already maxed out. So, margin, Martian Biological Experiments Phase 1. We have Thrust and Drift. We need 4 and 8. We have 4 turns. Okay. We need 4 nav. We need four nav. So, no, we need eight nav. Eight and sixteen we need. We need to stay within minus one to one. So, how about we do this? And this, that gives us six data to work with. Then we could do... If we do this, then we have to hit that one, which we can't. So we're not doing that. So wait a minute, how about instead we do something like this, that gives us 4 and 3. Then we can do that. And we can do that. That gives us six, one, and four. We need eight. Uh, well, on the last turn, we need four and two in order to get our. Our thrust. Well, actually, we need we need eight and four to get our thrust. For the 50% bonus reward. Okay. I think this is a reasonable start. Our payload is not super reliable. Which kind of blows. Data transmission went well. Manual thrust adjustment was not great. Uh, it will be increased by one. We can't do that, because that would take us out of bounds, so we'll have to resist it. Alright, so we have three turns left to get this done. We're down to two power already. 
So we're actually where we need to be with... Actually, we just need to get to four because we'll get four on the last one here. So how about we do that? And that, that almost gets us there. We just need one more um, data. So then we can recharge twice to get ourselves some power. I think that's fine. Uh. I'll resist that. Okay. So if we do this and this, that takes us to nine, nine, and four. Then we can recharge twice. And next time we, and our drift is aligned, and next time we just do this four times, we have power to resist. So I think this should be fine. Nice. All right. So then it's one, two, three, four. And that gets us there. And we can resist three of them. Resist that. We'll accept that. We'll accept that. And we'll accept that. And there's our 50% bonus ward. Nice. Alright. Mars transfer trajectory done. And we got 2.6 million for that. Not bad. And then we have our space telescope, which we need to build a vehicle for. And why can't we do that with a shuttle? Hmm. It's heavy. We don't have the Saturn 4B, so it has to be the Saturn 2. This is going to be expensive. And then it's going to have to be the Saturn 5, which is really expensive. And that's 2 million. But we're quite stable. We're quite stable. I'm quite reliable. So half the chance of negative event and uh, half the chance of critical event. Maybe. I'm actually thinking the composite casing because that reducing the cost by 250,000 more or less would actually not be bad. Our launch reliability is already pretty good. Our Hmm, reducing the payload build time. By a month. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. One month, more or less. Don't really care that much. I think we'll go with the composite casing. And then we have the contractor thing which would take that up to 99 percent but 22 months extra but the payload reliability here going down 20 percent 
would really suck, but the support would be nice. I don't think we're going to use a contractor. I don't really like the contractors, to be honest, that we have. So... This is going to be it. Build vehicle, one year, one month. All right. And then we have our Saturn flyby, which is ready to launch. So let's launch it. Launch reliability really sucks. Weather is good though, which is good because we have to launch today if we want to be first together with the Japanese. And the half the chance of the critical event is nice. So let's launch this puppy. Saturn flyby, let's go. Let's go. Looking good. Looking good. Oh yeah. That is a beautiful launch. Let's hope we don't get a negative effect. We probably will. No, we don't. Secure launch. Very nice. And the Titan III gets a lot more reliable. And the Athena gets a little more reliable. All right. Let's do it! That was our first launch with the Titan III. All right, we need to collect th nav and thrust. We have five turns, four commands per turn. And we, base we need to hit this four times on the last turn, preferably. Which means that we need to get to 26 nav and 8 data in order to do this. That's fine, I guess. So if we... hit this once, the signal attenuation test, that gives us three calm. We can then use two of those calms to get five nav. And then we can use three nav to get six more comms and a nav and a com to get actually we have a lot of power so let's you do some cosmic dust analysis to get us up here then we can effectively do this three times next turn and i think this is good i think this is good Let's confirm that over our, our reliability, though, is not great. All right, so far so good. We can then do manual thrust adjustments three times. That almost gets us there with the nav. And then I think I'll boost the transmission. Cost an additional two. Can't afford that. So that's a resist. And there we go. And then we can do this twice. Which gets us the nav that we need, basically. But we're going to have to do it one more time. And then spend three to get some more comps, because then we can use comps and nav 
twice to get the data that we need for the final turn. So I think this works. Alright. Uh, we'll resist that. Damn it. And we'll resist that. Okay. So now we can do this twice. That gives us everything we need to do this four times. We need eight and we need four. 26 minus four is 22. And we are well in hand there, which means that we can do some recharges. We'll assist that and accept that. So now we just need to hit this four times and that gets us there and we can resist every single time if something goes wrong so come get it calculated thruster burns we will resist you nice all right 50 percent bonus reward achieved very nice And that's 636 support and 84 science for 36 months. It's not a whole lot of science, but it will be. All right, we completed first phase of the Saturn flyby. We have four months to go for the Jupiter flyby to be, well, the payload to be completed. We have 13 months until the space telescope is completed. And then we have the Martian biological experiments, which has four months until next phase and the Saturn flyby, which is 36 months until next phase. All right. Well, I guess we can actually just go to the next event. Yeah. Japan completed phase one of Saturn flyby as well. Skylab damaged. An impact from orbital debris has caused a severe electrical issue on the space station Skylab. The crew estimate the loss of power will result in a reduction of eight months of science from the mission. However, astronaut Rolf Rossi has volunteered to perform a spacewalk to repair the damage on the station's exterior. Your team, mission team believes this is, has a good chance of restoring power, but warn that it will be a high-risk EVA due to the live electricity running through the systems. As such, there is a chance that Rolf Rossi will be injured in the attempt. Hmm. It says injured, not killed. So that's something. Um... I think we're going to approve the EVA because I don't want to lose eight months of science. Approve. Astronaut Rolf Rossi will conduct an EVA attempt and attempt to repair the damaged systems. Mission Control work with our engineers to prep the crew on the repair. Report back soon on the result of the EVA. Okay. Neutral buoyancy lab research complete. In this facility, astronauts train in a pool of water to generate a neutral buoyancy environment that simulates weightlessness. Okay. Next mission phase ready for the Martian biological experiments. Okay. And our Jupiter flyby payload is complete. The Voyager. Supplementary booster reliability bonus increased by 200%. Okay. So we might want to put some boosters on here. Well, I guess it's the Athena that's going up. Don't really have any other choice at all. And could do the Saturn V. Wow, look at that. That is one ugly rocket. Uh, I don't think we're doing the Saturn V. The Delta IV. The Titan 3 has 62% liability, 80% liability. 
The Titan 3 is way, way cheaper, though. And it can do it. With launch reliability of 64%. Or a launch reliability of 73% for 400,000 extra. I think we'll go with the Delta. Yeah. And for the upgrade, um, payload reliability would actually be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Advanced shock absorption, get that payload a little bit more reliable. Confirm, build vehicle, nine months. All right, then we need to do some research, and I think we'll do the Hall of Fame. Actually, let's switch over to the Diplomacy Office. And at the base, we can now build our neutral buoyancy lab. Unlocks Tier 2 astronaut talents. Let's try that. Ooh, this is a nice spot. Uh, plus one launch reliability, plus three percent reward for missions. Uh, here we get plus three percent reward. No. Uh, here we get one percent payload reliability. Nothing there. What about in here? Nothing. Nothing. Hmm. So this is actually the nicest spot. Go on then. Alright. So that's building. How long will that take? Eight months. Okay. And then we have the next phase of our Martian biological experiments. Let's do it. We have thrust and drift that we need to deal with. All right. 13 comms, 9 nav, and 5 thrust we need. So we need to hit this twice on the last one. All right. And our drift is, allows for minus one to one. Okay, so we need to get up to 15 comms. And we need four data. Now, taking this data doesn't help us outright. But I don't really see another option, because I think we're going to have to take that and the Doppler tracking. That's four power we're spending right there. But then we can do data compression which is helpful. Um, yeah, let's do data compression twice. Get us well up there. That leaves us with 10, 1, and 2. And drift is perfect. So that's all good. Dang it. Uh, will be reduced by two nav. All right, we're resisting that. Uh, nice and nice. All right, all good. Ten, one, and two we have. So what we could do is a manual thrust adjustment.
And... And I actually think... Two more of these. Actually, one more of those. And then I think some power. Yeah. Confirm. Manual thrust adjustment went well. Data compression compressed. Okay. So. What I want to do is a ranging uplink and a cosmic dust analysis. Oh, the whoa. I can't do that because they push it the same way. All right. What if I do an ultraviolet imaging cosmic dust analysis? A ranging uplink. No, I'm going to need if we do this twice, then we have the nav that we need, but we're going to get nav from this anyway. We need to hit this twice. So what we can do is a packet transfer. And that gives us the four that we need. And we have enough of that. So we can actually do a recharge here because we are going to spend two. So that takes us down to 14. That's fine. We're going to spend four. We have four. That's fine. And we're going to get two which takes us to nine, so that's fine. Confirm. Damn it. Uh, oh, uh, we're going to have to assist that. Okay. So then we can do two calculated burns, getting our 50% bonus award, and we can recharge twice, so we can... Yeah. Nice. Alright, well, we can resist it. And there's our 50% bonus reward achieved again. Nice. And that's another 2.4 million that we get. Not bad. Not bad at all. We have atmospheric sensors here. At Earth, we have astronaut recovery test, global positioning. Astronauts will launch a critical launch failure, which is quite nice. The money is nice too, but it's challenging. And then we have the orbital way station again. All right. And out here at Mercury, we have Mercury orbit, but we would be Oh, no, we did Mercury orbit. I'm stupid. Exospheric studies and core science. So these two, ooh, Mars tech test this mission's Mars experience reward increased by plus 50%. That's not bad. That's not bad. We don't have any missions out here. 
wonder if we can ever get out here. Because this one looks so shiny. But I don't think so. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, well. Um, we are just going to miss out on our funding. <laughs> 14. 14 support we need. And we're not going to get it. That kind of sucks. Oh well. EVA repair successful. Astronaut Ralph Frassi has performed a courageous EVA to repair damage to the space station Skylab. The repair was successful, preventing any loss in science output from the station. It was worth the risk just for the view, the astronaut later told Mission Control. Okay, nice. Uh, Japan is launching Jupiter flyby in six months. We won't be able to beat them to that unless they fail. Look at that. 14 stupid parts away from getting up to 663k. Oh well. well we're ganging the diplomacy office this month. There's another new request mission rendezvous attempt. Not bad. Money, always good. And some maneuvering stuff. Together with NASA. I actually want to do that because I want to get them up to being our allies. Right, well, base. Let's build the diplomacy office. Well, we get a 2% reputation reward for joint missions. Okay. What about up here? That's the same. I think I'm going to build it up there then. Yep. Six months that'll take to build. How long is left on this one? Five months. Okay. And we're going to research the Hall of Fame, which only requires 1,500 science. So that'll be done in two months. And then we will have our plus 10% support gain from successful missions. I think that's well worth it. And... Then our next research is going to be the next step of the modular space station, I think. Or a Neptune or a Uranus flyby. Could also do the X ray telescope. Basically, I want to beeline down to these final missions. I, I want to get to them as fast as possible because I want to win. Uh, but we need to get one of these in order to do that. Grand Tour sound cool. sounds cool. This ambitious mission will launch a long-range nuclear-powered probe with a carefully designed trajectory allowing it to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. After these encounters, the probe will continue on in interplanetary space, leaving the solar system entirely. That is so cool. I'd love to do that. I would love to do that. All right. We have we are researching the Hall of Fame, and we have the next phase of Martian biological experiments next month. So that will be in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.